It was March 2010 when we moved into our new office at the Justice Court Center, Precinct 4 in Owentown. It was lonely moving from downtown Winona to the new office out of town in the country. It's hard to get much sympathy when I say, I have to drive two miles to work. The new building is much larger than the old one, and it came with a new set of creaks and groans, especially when working alone late after hours. One day, the clerks had all gone, and I was sitting in the back of the building working in my office, answering emails when I heard a tapping at the door outside in the hall. Someone wanted in, so I went up to answer, but there was no one there. I went back to my desk and sat down, and the knocking at the door came again. I went into the hallway and looked to see an empty door. I went outside and looked for the prankster and found no one. It's kind of spooky. The next knock came on my window. Tap, tap, tap. I looked out the tall window and saw the pasture, saw the parking lot and the sidewalk, and then I looked down. A large black crow was standing there, head cocked to one side and looking back at me. Then he hopped up to the window. Tap, tap, tap. He knocked again with his long black beak. When he hopped back and looked at me, cocking his head the other way to inspect me with the other cold black eye, I halfway expected him to say Eleanor like the Edgar Allan Poe raven. He continued to look at me and said, Caw, right Caw. Here. His head would bob back and forth with each syllable. Mom feeds the crows at her little apartment in Winona, and I wonder if this one might have followed me from there. I found some leftovers in the office fridge and put them on the outside just to, next to the window. Charlie has visited us regularly ever since. And when I'm away, the clerks will sneak out a little piece of bread or something for him to eat. He also likes fresh water, and he loves fried chicken. He also likes pizza a lot. Usually Charlie eats by himself. I really don't know if it's a he or a she. Charlie's feathers on his right leg fluff out different from the other crows. If there's plenty to go around, they will grab a bite and fly away. Actually, I've noticed that he takes food to his partner who stays out in the pasture in the back. He'll load up a beak full of food and carry it out, set it down. They'll get together and he'll fly back for more. Charlie's a little braver. He swoops down close to the employees when they're taking a break as a reminder not to forget about him. Often he's in the tall post oak tree by the parking lot. For the last five years, when the clerks and I go out to eat, instead of a to-go box, we bring back a to-crow box.